quick fly in the old ultra wings to uh, get used to the flight controls again on the T Hotus. Okay, so I'll get an inception like. go much slower than this <clears throat> nope stall speed flaps it down whoa Yep, okay. Getting a bit wobbly, the old VR legs. Whoa. Is that trying to track a target? That's the issue, I think. And you lose sight of the horizon completely. When you can see the horizon, just drop these flaps off. Not a problem. Once you stop tracking the horizon, let's find it. There it is. Start tracking another aircraft. That's when you've got a problem. Okay, so when I can see the horizon, not a problem. 
so I'm, I'm tracking this aircraft in front of me, I'll just get a bit closer. Now, now I can't see the horizon, or I can, if I keep glancing at it I'm fine, but once you're kind of looking up there, I suppose you'd have to just keep glancing at the horizon just to keep track of where the heck you are. This guy's been a bit quick, can't keep up with him. to hit this guy. So even when you're flying inverted, whoops, like so, not a problem at all. Okay, that's a bit weird, but I can still see the horizon, so still got a grounding of where I'm, I'm in the virtual world, as it were. So yeah, this, this isn't too bad, even when I lose the horizon from the side, not a problem. It's just that switching your focus from horizon to another aircraft. So we'll see how Ace Combat 7 does and how you can get around it. Let's go across the airfield. This is the problem. Yeah. So I have no idea what the plane is doing in relationship to the horizon. Until I look back at it, that is. I realise we're going into the water. Oops, are we out of fuel? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's just do a quick change over to a uh, another aircraft. Flaps on. I'm using the um, a set of Thrustmaster pedals from the T-150 wheel as rudders. Just plug straight back into the uh, into the sticks. Okay, this is gonna be not too pretty. <laughs> Whoops. I seem to have crashed. Oh well. Let's just um, what do we take out? That one. Uh, turn Lighter that on, turn that on, hit that, off we go. Oh, we got right, it's about 15, I can just sit back and let the thing fly itself. the noise it's hailing outside winter here in the north of England don't get snow just rain and hail small icebergs of the weekend okay, let's use the rudder pedals just to bring this across so yep yeah, ace combat lands in a couple of days 
It's a restricted VR mode, but it does look like the free flight mode is included looking at some of the videos that are on YouTube. Um, which means, basically, you can do what I'm doing now. So there's tons of gameplay in there, if that's the case. We can just take the plane up and uh, fly it around and enjoy flying the planes. For a lot of people, it's, you know, it's enjoyable in itself. I know this game's got missions, and fly through hoops, photograph this, land here. But um, essentially it's just a, a flying sim, there's no multiplayer or... Uh, interaction with AI other than the races of course there are, there are races against AI but the enjoyment from it for most is, is just the uh, the act of flying in VR which it does very well Ultra Wings but I'm hoping Ace Combat 7 is even better it certainly looks uh, more polished as you would expect, given the price point and who's made it. OK, let's uh, just fire all this gas off and see how high we can go. Let's lock it there. 